hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today is going to be an interesting video because i am going to tell y'all about my labor so the reason why i am about to do a story time on my labor is because i made a tiktok video of me before i actually went into labor and how i was acting you know and it kind of went viral so y'all wanna labor and delivery story here you go so the first thing i'm gonna say is i did use castor oil to help my labor and the only reason i used it is because i was in active labor for i say about three days meaning i was dilated three centimeters on, let me see. I think it was. I don't remember the exact day, but I was dilated three days before my daughter's actual birthday. So here I am. I'm gonna just say it was. I don't know. I don't really know the days and all of that. But the first day of me going into you know active labor. I had cramps like no other. Like a period cramp is one thing, but the contraction cramps or the contractions cramps, whatever, that's another different, not another different. That is another topic in itself. Like I was sitting in this house about to die. Like I literally was about to die. Okay. Like. I had to go to the hospital many, many of times before I even had my daughter because of how bad the pain was, you know? So the first day I go to the doctor, you know, they check me and I was supposed to have my daughter February 5th, but I had her January 22nd. So she was a little bit early, but you know, I went to the doctor, you know, they checked me and they like, okay, so you are three centimeters dilated. You are in active labor because this is three centimeters. So they had me walk around the hospital, you know, to see if um, I would dilate some more. So I went into the doctor maybe like eight o'clock and that day I left. I think at like 12 because they was trying to get me to actually start the labor process. Like I was having contractions and stuff, but it wasn't enough, I guess. So they just sent me home. I was irritated. Then the next day, I was, I think the reason why I actually took, like took the castor oil is because i was so excited about having her because i think i just got so thirsty because the second day i had the same problem the um contractions was they was actually more intense this time and i was just like it might be the real thing but i don't know if they send me home yesterday i might not be dilated but i could so here I am at the doctor again. They check me. I walk around, I walk around, I walk around. I go home again. Not dilated. So the third day, I went on every mom blog, every YouTube, every um like every thing about labor and how to you know speed up the process basically so i seen that not black castor oil i seen that castor oil can help you you know start your labor so i'm like you know what i'm gonna go to the store me and anthony went to the store went to walmart boop bought the castor oil and it said to take it with ice cream now i didn't read anything about you know what it's supposed to do all i knew was that if you take it you will start to have contractions within that day you should have your baby that day that night the next day 
whatever. So, I took the castor oil. Instantly, I had to use the bathroom. Like, if you think I'm joking, I'm not. I had to use the bathroom. That castor oil made me use the bathroom. Like, I don't know why I didn't read, you know, what it was going to do. But it made me use the bathroom. And I think it did mention that, but the way I was using the bathroom, it was like, what in the world? But I guess castor oil is, is supposed to be a laxative or whatever. So I don't know. But I had contractions and everything. So I remember my mom came over here after she got off of work and she brought me some spaghetti. And I was in my room. You know, I'm just sitting down. I'm like, you know, my stomach hurt. And. At this point, he's tired because we'd have been to the hospital two days before this and we stayed there maybe four hours each time we went because they're thinking that I'm actually about to go into labor. So at this point, Anthony's tired and he's looking at me like, my care, are you sure? You know, like, are you sure this is, <laughs> this is what's about to happen because I didn't like getting sent home either, but I was... I didn't know, like, I don't know. Maybe if those times that I didn't go, what if I did go into labor? I don't know. But this pain was different because every time that I got a contraction, it felt like she was actually moving down. Like, I actually felt like my stomach, I, okay, maybe I'm being dramatic, but I feel like, the third day after I took the castor oil, my my belly just felt like it was just so far to the ground. And I'm just ready to have this baby. So I remember I was laying down and I'm like, you know, I think this might be the real deal. So I called my auntie. And I called, well, my mama was here, but I called my other auntie because she just had a baby. And, you know, she's telling me to count the contractions or whatever. Um, Anthony ran me a bath, but my mama kept telling me to eat, and I'm like, I don't want to eat. So my auntie said, you know, that was a sign that I could be actually going into labor. I don't know why, but I just didn't want to eat. I was just like, no. So after I got in the bath, I was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I'm ready to go to the hospital because... This pain is just too much. And I was trying to, you know, work through it and breathe and all of that. Because I'm like, if this is the actual, you know, situation that's about to happen, I have to be regular. I cannot be dramatic because I think I'm, I don't think I'm dramatic. But everybody in my family think I'm dramatic. So this whole time I'm telling myself, like, okay, if this is the real thing, I can't be dramatic. So... The whole time, just like, mm, mm, mm. So, we finally get to the doctor. And I was like, listen, y'all done seen me three days in a row, okay? Am I having my baby or am I not, okay? So, they go to check me. Boom, I'm four centimeters. So, at this point, they're like, ma'am, we are not sending you home. You are going to have this baby today. And that that's that. I don't care about nothing else and the problem was they didn't want to induce me until you know i actually needed to be induced i think you only get induced after your due date so they didn't want to induce me because i wasn't late she was coming early so you know i um i was four centimeters boom i had lost what i was thinking about in the story so I'm four centimeters, boom. So she instantly asked me, do I want epidural? I said, ma'am, I don't care how quick or how slow. <laughs> Not how slow because I don't need you to be slow. But I was so in pain. I'm like, I don't care what you give me right now. I can get my epidural right now. You know, she asked me, like, are you sure you want it right now? You don't want to. I'm like, no. Because the only thing with epidural is once it wear off, 
I don't know. Like, that means I was just going to have to have her with no medicine. But it didn't wear off. It, it started to wear off at, like, maybe, like, 10 minutes after I had her or whatever. But the epidural was something that I needed because... I don't understand how people can actually go through a whole birth without an epidural. Like, I couldn't imagine it because the pain of it. Even when I was having her, I was still in pain. Like, it wasn't to the point where it was hurting, but everything was just so new in my body. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't hurting, but it's it just... Ratchet. It was ratchet. Um, but the video that I had posted before was when I was having contractions when I was on the epidural. So, I don't know what you can say about that. But I was still having a little bit of pain on the epidural. But it definitely helped. Like I don't know how I would have pushed her out with no medicine. I don't know. I don't know how I could have did it. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, after I got the epidural, you know, it really felt like... Once I once they told me that I was, you know, in actual labor, I thought everything was going to go like boom, 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 boom. No. Nothing went fast. It seemed like I was really just sitting there still like i went in on i think the the 20 i had her on the 22nd but i had her like in the morning of the 20 on the 22nd like 12 i had her at 12 24 a.m so i went in 21st. I went in like the morning. You know, whatever. But, yeah. Mm, the actual labor part, like the pushing, it wasn't that bad. Only because I had a mirror. I wanted to see what was going on because, honey, I was pushing this baby out. I didn't want to just be sitting there and they telling me to push. I think when I seen how I was pushing and, like, I actually saw what I was doing, that made me, you know, that helped me. Because I got, I, I really was able to see, like, I'm really pushing the baby out. So, it helped me push, ouch, it helped me push more. So, yeah. The only funny thing that happened <laughs> was Anthony almost passed out. <laughs> he was like... He just stopped and dropped my leg and was like, I need to go to the bathroom. I thought he was going to pass out, but he came back with his face all wet up, <laughs> which means that he wet his face because I was like, wow. It was crazy, though. Like, I can't believe I really pushed the baby out of, yeah. It was really weird, though. My only advice would be to get the epidural. I don't care what nobody tell you. Yes, it's risky and frisky, but all I'm going to say is if you can't handle a period, you're going to need an epidural. Because if you can't handle those cramps, honey, you stand no chance in the world of mother, motherhood. So, yeah. That was all for the video. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on TikTok because we are going by wrong. TikTok. Um, it's my name, underscore M, M Y K A, underscore M. That's my Instagram. I don't really be on Snapchat, but I'll put everything in the description box. So, yeah, thanks for watching my video and. I'll see y'all in the next one.